A, most of you know I had surgery. A stereotactic shunt was placed in my um, brain to uh, help um, release the cerebral spinal fluid that um, was not being released or that was building up actually because of my um, uh, pseudotumor cerebri or that my what was actually what is actually my brain thinking I had a tumor but it's actually a what it's a fake tumor I don't have a tumor I never had a tumor but um, it's a very common condition medicine wasn't working it was actually making the condition worse wasn't wasn't treating my headaches and um, the, the uh, medicine was giving me very bad side effects so uh, a great doctor a great neurosurgeon dr. Eric Marvin um, performed the uh, procedure and placed a stereotactic VP shunt into my brain and uh, there is also a valve that is placed onto my head or my skull um, and then uh, the tubing goes down and um, through my uh, goes from here all the way down and it goes in and there's another incision in my abdomen that's cut and it's brought together and and it drains the the, the um, cerebral spinal fluid drains into my abdomen or is absorbed into my abdomen which is nothing that's wrong with that it, it just absorbs you know like your your cerebral spinal fluid absorbs back into your body mine absorb has to be absorbed into my abdomen because it doesn't absorb into my head or into my back into my body um, the back of my head I'll show you in a minute I have uh, you can't see the stitches but they're my hairline I'll try to run my finger across my hairline to show you where it is um, and I'll point out the valve that you won't be able to notice but I can feel it you can't feel it I can feel it when I when I touch it um, it's controlled with a magnet actually they can or some type of magnetic uh, equipment that they can turn it up and down to release more fluid or less fluid if necessary um, the surgery went great uh, I think it was like a three hour surgery maybe two and a half hours I just remember them telling me to breathe deep very deep and then I remember them saying wake up your surgery is over wake up Miss Custer you know, Shamisha uh, I stayed in the hospital. I had my surgery on Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. I w went home Sunday about 2.30, 3 o'clock. By 4, I was home most definitely on Sunday. So, uh, once again, Dr. Eric Marvin and his team did the surgery. Uh, they are great. Run Memorial Hospital is awesome hospital. Um, 12 West is where I was staying. Great nurses, great care, great CNAs. Awesome. I always say the nurses are the unsung heroes. They do all the work that, of course, Dr. Marvin did great work, but the, the, the nurses do all the care. You know, they, they do the little things that, that don't really get noticed or mentioned a lot of times. We couldn't, the doctors couldn't work without the nurses. But I'll show you now what, it, what the back of my head looks like. They did shave some of my hair. It will grow back. I don't care. I'm just glad that, that I can see better now. Um, I took my glasses off to show you. I do wear glasses still. Um, my eyesight's better. Um, I am still on a little bit of pain medicine for the, um, for the healing. Uh, I feel better. I'm recovering. Um a lot better at home than I would be in the hospital. So I'd like to thank everybody who was praying for my recovery, praying for my surgery. God is awesome. Um, I couldn't have made it through this without God. I had no worries about my surgery. I never felt any kind of, any kind of problems or worries or, or doubts about the surgery. I had 100% faith in God at all times because I knew he was, always there um it's great to have faith uh unwavering faith in that 
and here is what my head looks like. This is what my head looks like. And right here where my finger is, is actually where I'm showing you. Let me see if I can get a better view for you. Right here is where the stitches are. Um, I'm putting my finger along the line of it. Let me bring it back over here. This is starting here is the line where the stitches are and it goes down there's no stitch here i don't believe but the stitches are about right they stop about right here so um that's about where it is and then down here i can feel the uh the valve that they're using to regulate the cerebral spinal fluid uh, flow. So that's actually what it, what they do is, is they regulate the flow of how much cerebral spinal fluid actually goes into, um, that gets taken out of my, you know, it gets drained out. Uh, too much in there is dangerous, but too little would be dangerous as well. It uh, helps regulate my blood pressure uh, because um, hypercranial, um, hypercranial, hi intracranial hypertension is what I'm trying to say. is something that I had a problem with as well too. My blood pressure would go really high um, because of the fact that I had a, a um, because I had the cerebral, um, because I had a, a, a lot of fluid buildup. Um, so... I don't have to worry about that now. In fact, my blood pressure is dropping a little. It's not dangerously low, but it's lower than it, no, it was before the surgery. So I have to be careful. Uh, I'm by myself. I have actually purchased a blood pressure cuff. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. Um, I bought a monitoring system. So I can make sure my blood pressure doesn't drop below 110. Uh, the top number. Like, for example, 110 over... Uh, I um, I think my doctor wants it to be 110 uh, over, um, let's say, 75 or maybe or maybe even a little bit lower than that. But um, the top number needs to be at least 110. So with all this in mind, um, I know God is good. I know God is always working on me. He has nothing but good things in mind for me, good intentions. And um, I trust him completely. So, it's good to be home. It's good to be in the swing of things. I'm recovering slowly. I do have an uh, 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 incision that's healing on my stomach. I won't show you guys that. Uh, I'm going to have to get me some Mederma because I'm going to have a scar there. Uh, once my hair grows back, nobody will notice that there's a valve there. Or I won't even notice, probably, um, that the valve is there. Or that the uh, the uh, that I've ever that I've even had the surgery. So um, the shunt, I won't notice the shunt or the valve or anything like that. So that's about it. And the cat that you hear in the background is my cat. He is hungry. I'm surprised my other cat's not meowing either. I need to feed them. So uh, I do uh, have a little bit of pain occasionally right now because um I've, i'm still healing from the surgery mainly my my head where the incision side is but everything will be okay thanks for watching and i am praying for everybody love you all bye